Congratulations for sure. My wife and uh, my family I couldn't do it without you guys. And of course, Dash, Mom, Dad, I love y'all. I'll keep it short because I got a lot in this speech and I've been trying to memorize the long battle. Long call. call. <laughs> so, but uh, I just got here, but all you guys have been friendly and, and has helped me out, uh, especially you, uh, Cam Hine. I've uh, learned a lot in my short days with you. And then uh, Colonel Kane and Sunday the Bell, uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to be a first time here. Lieutenant Colonel Kane, Command Sergeant Major Jackson, Command Sergeant Major DeVoe, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends and families of Bull Battery, good afternoon. My name is 2nd Lieutenant Fuller, and I am a Big Red One soldier. On behalf of the commander of Bravo Battery, 1st Battalion, 7th Field Artillery Regiment, Captain Eric P. Hine, welcome to the Assumption of Responsibility Ceremony. This ceremony, steeped in military tradition, serves to welcome the incoming 1st Sergeant to the unit. This transfer of authority is accomplished through an official transfer of the unit guide on which is a symbol of the combat readiness and esprit de corps of the unit. Specialist Kasky is now presenting a yellow rose to Miss Jamie Francis on behalf of the officers, non-commissioned officers, and soldiers of Bravo Battery. The yellow rosebud given to Miss Francis signifies the beginning of a great future with the Bull soldiers and their families. First Sergeant Francis' mother, Joy, is also being presented a rose, and his father, Scott, and son, Dad, Thank you. are being presented battery coins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by the 1st Battalion, 7th Field Artillery Regiment, Lightning Battalion, Chaplain Captain Poocher, and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the opportunity to gather here today for this ceremony. We ask that your hand be upon First Sergeant Francis as he takes on this new responsibility of leadership and service. Guide him in the decisions that will be placed before him. Give him the wisdom and foresight to lead these soldiers. We ask for your blessing to be upon him and his family during this time of transition, and also when they serve the soldiers and families of this battery. Continue to bless Bull as well as our entire battalion. Grant us safety as we execute the tasks set before us. Continue to give us success in all that we do. I ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Senior Reviewing Officer for today's ceremony is Captain Eric Hine, the Commander of Bull Battery, 1st Battalion, 7th Field Artillery Regiment. He is accompanied by the incoming 1st Sergeant, 1st Sergeant David S. Francis. The Assumption
Assumption of Responsibility is a simple, traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. Key to the ceremony is the Assumption of Responsibility for the incoming First Sergeant. The unit First Sergeant is a custodian of the unit guide and as such he is a senior enlisted advisor in the unit and the principal advisor to the commander on all facets of the unit's operation, discipline, and soldier wellness. Therefore, he assumes his position next to the unit's guide The guide line reports the unit's history, its glories, its battles, and its campaigns. Sergeant First Class Scadam will pass the guide on to the commander, Captain Hine. Captain Hine passes the guide on to the incoming First Sergeant, First Sergeant Francis, entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the battery. In accordance with paragraph 3-4, Army Regulation 600-20, the undersigned assumes the responsibility of full battery, 1st Battalion, 7th Field Artillery Regiment, 2nd Armored Brigade Combat Team, effective 1600 hours, 16 June 2021, signed Eric P. Hine, Captain, Field Artillery Command. 1st Sergeant Francis then passes the guide on to Sergeant First Class Scadam for safekeeping. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of Full Battery, 1st Battalion, 7th Field Artillery Regiment, Captain Eric P. Hine. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Kane, Sergeant Major DeVoe, Sergeant Major Jackson, Mr. and Mrs. Francis, Jamie and Dennis Francis, and friends and family. Bull Battery, thank you for your attendance today. My name is Eric Hine, and I'm a big Red One soldier. In the spirit of First Sergeant Hamrick, I will attempt to keep this uh, speech short because I know he said most of it at the uh, going away. First Sergeant Hamrick, from our first interaction outside battalion, I knew your outstanding First Sergeant, who not only knew his job, but also showed genuine care for his soldiers of Bull Battery. Thank you for your mentorship. Even though it was short, you truly made a long lasting impact not only on the battery, the battalion as a whole. First Sergeant Francis, the soldiers and families of Bull Battery look forward to working with you over the course of the next several years. The coming months will be filled with training and long nights beforehand to NTC in February. I know you will excel and look forward to you providing mentorship and guidance not only to me, but to Battery as well. Jackson, Lieutenant Colonel Kane, and Command Sergeant Major DeVoe, and friends and family of Bull Battery, thank you for your attendance today, especially the week before block leave. I know how busy it is for everybody and also in this heat. I am First Sergeant David Francis and I'm a Big Red One soldier. First and foremost, I'd like to, th uh, like to thank Lieutenant Colonel Kane and Sergeant Major DeVoe for giving me this tremendous privilege and opportunity to serve as the First Sergeant of Bravo Battery. Thank you. I also would like to thank First Sergeant Hamrick. Even though we couldn't rip in person, we exchanged numerous emails, and you set me up for success and left the battery in a great place. I would also like to thank Sergeant First Class Scadam for filling the gap between First Sergeants and look forward to continuing to work with you. Captain Hine, you have already helped me a lot, and I'm excited to be your First Sergeant. I want to thank my wife, Jamie, and my kids at Amaya and Dash. Amaya is still in Columbus, Georgia, in college. Uh, without your support and understanding, I wouldn't be here standing here today. I love you guys. I also want to thank my parents for supporting my family throughout my career and providing us a place to stay while we're closing on our house. It's fitting that I become a first sergeant in my hometown and the same place uh, where my dad was a first sergeant with uh, Charlie 113th Armor. Uh, I will uh, be looking for your guidance and advice with any first sergeant or soldier problems upcoming. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a lot. Uh, 
uh, love you, mom and dad. To the soldiers of Bravo Battery, you have done nothing but impress me so far. You're a highly trained, disciplined organization that is ready for any mission. My door will always be open for you. Death on call, never broken, ready now, duty first. This is Bull 7 signing on the net. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's change of responsibility ceremony. Please have a good day. Never broke.